Hello, today we're going to go through payment registration. It's some new functionality that's been introduced into Business Central in the last couple of releases, and we think it's a great way to post payments from customers. Um, when you first go into payment registration, you get taken to the setup screen and it's a very simple setup screen. It just wants to know which journal template, what batch name and what your balancing entry is going to be. So logically it would be a bank account. Um, once you've done this, then you don't have to go back in here again unless you want to change some of the settings. So when you go into the register uh, customer payments, you get a list of all of the open customer ledger entries. So as you can see, these contain invoices and credit memos. So you have a list which gives you the company name, the company uh, account number, the document type, document number. So this is the invoice number, the description, and then the due date and the remaining amount. And in essence, all you have to do is just tick this column here. Now, logically, you've got a, a list there organized in uh, it looks like date order or some some random number order and consequently if you have if you're sitting with a remittance advice this could prove quite difficult to organize so obviously you can literally sort the uh, customers by ascending or descending number and now you can see it's grouped them all so you can see that you've got a number of outstanding invoices for John Haddock insurance and if I was sitting with his a remittance advice I could quite easily go down and and tick those off um, so if I go and look for the good old Canon group and what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, filter to this value so that I'm just dealing with the Canon group. So again, a couple of ways to uh, be able to post these process these transactions. So if I'm sitting with the remittance advice, they've paid this one, they've paid this one, um, but actually they've only done a part payment. So if I change that to 30,000, for whatever reason, they've decided not to fully pay, uh, fully pay this one. It's popped up a warning uh, about the payment discount. So uh, if this, this transaction obviously has payment discount on it um, and therefore it will be registered as a partial payment. So from that point of view, because my, uh, my transaction date is beyond the date received then and the due date was earlier it's not allowing us to take the um, to take the partial payment um, if I want to take the whole thing then I can just literally click the number so I can key in the amount received if for some reason there was a partial payment so once we've ticked off all of the transactions I can then go to the posting and I can post the payment or I can post it as a lump payment. Now this depends on how you want to see the transactions in your bank. So here where I'm posting several invoices against the Canon Group, I want to see obviously those transactions cleared off from the um, customer ledger entries. But in my bank account, I just want one total entry for the £1,300 that I require. So I can preview the payment. So if I post a payment, this will give me a banker ledger entry and a customer ledger entry for every invoice that I've ticked. So in this case, I would have to, not what I want. But if I post as a lump payment, then that will post all of the customers, but only post one entry to the bank. So when I preview posting as a lump, you can see that I get one customer ledger entry and one bank account ledger entry. So one payment line closing off those two invoices and one entry to the bank. So this is what I want. So when I hit the post button, post as a lump payment, it gives me the total of these transactions, which is what I can't see at this point here. Um, these are running totals uh, for the, um, the total ledger entries. So this is where I would check that this agrees with my remittance advice and then um, obviously hit the post button from that point of view. So we think that this is a, a lot quicker and a lot easier way to post cash. No longer do we have to uh, to explain that set applies ID. There is a similar functionality on the purchase ledger, but it's not so clean and so tidy because it's using the bank uh, import. And traditionally, people would use suggest vendor payments so that they pay the right figures to the right vendors that they want to pay. Uh, and obviously, there's an overlap there with the bank reconciliation, but the functionality does exist on the purchase ledger size if you wanted to use that also. I hope you find this useful and uh, if you want to contact your consultant or uh, give myself a ring, then um, please do and we can talk you through and uh, organise some training for you.